Hi, this video is from interview.com. Interview.com is a job portal. If you are looking for a job, you can log on to interview.com and you can post your resume with us. In this video, I am going to talk about what is reflection in Java. There is a concept called reflection in Java. What is that? Reflection is very useful approach to deal with Java class at runtime. It can be used to load the Java class, call its methods or an analyze the class at runtime. Even if you don't know where exactly it is located, you don't need to know actually. Uh, and the, uh, you don't need to know the class at the compile time. You, if you know at the runtime, it is, it is, it is easy for using the reflection. It is easy in Java using reflection. You can load that and do whatever you want. Reflection is a Java language ability to inspect and dynamically call classes, methods, attributes at runtime. So I have a class here, reflection test class, and there are two methods here. Okay, I, without using new operator, I'm going to load the class, create an instance, and call those methods. Okay, so class dot for and very very important. It's going to load the class. Okay, it's going to find the class and it will load the class in your uh, JVM, and we can create an instance of it. It's like new operator. Using the new operator, we are creating an instance, and we are we will start invoking the method. This is the method which is available in this class. Okay, so we are we are going to invoke those methods, and let's see uh, how exactly it works. So. I I I didn't uh, know the about the class during the compile time. I'm loading it using a string. The string which will, it will give you the package detail so that I can find it from my class path. And I'm going to create an object of it. And I'm going to call this method. If you see here, whenever the moment I call invoke method, it'll be called. Okay. So it is called okay I didn't call directly I'm just using invoke method to call it if you see here the second method also called yes both the methods are called using reflection this is how reflection works you might be asking what is the advantage say uh, you can mention the package name of a class in an XML file or property file and you can load those class you can dynamically load those class you don't have to uh, even place those class names during the compilation okay so you don't have to do that it's automatic it will automatically load it and create a, create an object and invoke the those methods that's the advantage of reflection hope this video is useful thank you and all the best for your interview